for sale. Five hundred dollars. Lifelong dream. Hand it in the balance. It's like they don't even see us. I'm hungry. You've been tasked with helping kill two men. A loved one's life hangs in the balance, and you're hungry. It's late. Let me ask you a question. Just how many men have you killed? All right, now remember, something this big and long is going to be very difficult to maneuver. Fortunately, I have a lot of experience in that area. <laughs> Can we please focus here? A naked man's life hangs in the balance. I'm telling you, he's dead. What we're about to have here is a dead fat guy on a stick. <laughs> All right. I'm so worried, Doug. I just felt familiar for a second. It's over. Now the presidency hangs in the balance. At least six states will not have certified vote totals on election night 2016. Going pretty hard, Mr. President. You okay? Well enough for a man whose fate is hanging in the balance. No. Their fate is sealed. Oh, how's that? You have a... Ten dollars an hour. Nope. Twelve dollars an hour. Come on, I wish I could, but I've made plans to walk around. <laughs> you know, Rachel, when you ran out on your wedding, I was there for you. I put a roof over your head, and if that means nothing to you, $20 an hour. <laughs> Done. Guess I'm not the only person with a useless husband. I mean, look at Mrs. Butterworth. I still don't understand why we couldn't take my last name. Well, my last name helps keep a roof over our head and pays for your hobby. Hobby? Your letters! Dear Tunji, we think about you every day. We wish we could give you a roof over your head and t-shirts from the teams that actually won the Super Bowl. Yours always, Stan and Francine Smith. I buy you a t-shirt with some glitter letters and all you do is complain. I pay for your school. <laughs> I feed you, clothe you. Put a roof over your head, and all I do is nag it. Ricky can't be redeemed, Steve. I don't believe that. Everyone can change for the better. This guy's gonna do it, and so can Ricky. Ricky Smash! But can we come back here in 30 years and say what we have done, it really prompted a change for the better? I believe we can. And I hope we will. Thank you. Let's make a better world. If the climate's going to change, let's have a climate that changes for the better rather than the worse. Let's live on a planet full of luxuriant vegetation. This simple and powerful question, inspired by a book written long before the days of Bitcoin, fintechs, and digital technology, has changed my life for the better. Try it. And let me know how it works for you. I would love to hear from you.